Hi everyone! This time I have KRK Rocket 7 speaker for repair. It seems to be in a very good shape, but does not power up. Let's take a look. And here is the back of the speaker. Here we have a combined XLR and TRS connector, display, clickable rotary encoder, power connector and power switch. And if we try to power this thing up, nothing happens. And the logo on the front should light up as well, but it doesn't. So I took out this module. And uh, we can see two boards here with this interconnect. This is the switch mode power supply, and this is the amplifier. And I see a bulging capacitor here. So this might be a very quick and boring repair, but you never know. And at least we have a chance to have a look inside of this thing. Here is the power supply. And on this side we can clearly see the isolation gap between the primary side and the secondary. Here is the controller chip. And there are two optocouplers across the isolation gap. And this failed capacitor is on the secondary side. And the secondary has three power rails, 5 volts and plus minus 19 for the amplifier. And by the way, here on the silk screen we can see the model is RP7-8-103 G4. The date of the PCB is 2018-10-15, revision 4. And here there are three boxes for three different models and RP7 G4 is marked. So I would think that something is populated differently some parts or links or something like that. And the actual date of the board is 2019-12-19. I desoldered the bulged capacitor and sure enough it's dead. It should be 1000 microfarads, 10 volts rated. And uh, we read about 6.5 microfarads and about 12 ohms ESR, which should be in tens of milliohms or hundreds at most. I found the replacement, slightly larger but should fit. This is a Rubicon, 1000 microfarads, 10 volts, and also 105 degrees C rated. Let's measure this one. 700 microfarads at 1 kilohertz, which is normal and about 85 milliohms ESR. Let's test. I did not connect the load yet, so I guess the supply will be in standby, and the replaced capacitor is involved in 5 volt standby. So let's check. Here I have DC and AC at the same time, so we can have a look at the ripple as well. Here is this capacitor. 5 volts DC and uh, practically no AC. Looks promising. Alright, connected the power supply back to the amp. And look at this. It's booting up. Perfect. Let's take a brief look at the amp board, just because we can. There is a heat sink bolted to the back plate with thermally conductive pad in between. And I don't really want to disturb this unless absolutely necessary. So not much we can see because of that, unfortunately. We can see that this half is the power amplifier and this half is the preamp with some digital stuff. And for some reason this half is conformally coated. I'm not sure why just this half. And we can see that this PCB is also used for three models. RP7, 8 and 103, G4. 
also dated 2018, revision 4. And here our P7G4 is marked. Let's check the power rails. Uh, here is the ground. And we should see negative 19. Actually negative 20.6. Positive 19. And there is one more rail just marked plus VCC. And it is 32 volts. Looks fine to me. The speaker is back together. Let's give it a go using this core griffin synthesizer. There you go. Fixed. Thanks for watching. Bye.